welcome back in. These folks usually visit us on Thursday, but tomorrow's a holiday, so we've got Sarah in today from the Imagination Station, and we're going to be talking about hovercrafts. Yeah. I think of Marty McFly when I think about <laughs> hovercraft. Well, I think this is going to be just as cool. Okay. So we actually built this hovercraft with things that we had at the Science Center, and you can build your own hovercraft at home. Kids? Um, yeah. With your parents' permission. Yes, we have the directions on our website, imaginationstationsledo.org, so check okay. it out there. Um, but I want to teach you how to use this hovercraft. So I'm going to teach you about some of the Newton's laws of motion. All right. Okay. So if you'd like, go ahead and have a seat on the oh, hovercraft. I get to okay. try it you out. You do. Okay. Um, so our first law of motion says that an object at rest will stay at rest or an object in motion will stay in motion unless it's acted on by an outside force. I feel comfy right now. I'm right? at rest. You are doing a fabulous job being an object at rest. You're going to stay there until some outside force acts upon you. Okay. Okay? So what if we make you an object in motion? Let's do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a leaf blower to make our hovercraft hover because we have a tarp underneath it. And what we're going to do when we turn the um, leaf blower is create a pocket of air. And that's what kind of like lifts you up a little bit. All right. And then we can move you around and make you an object in motion. Sounds good. Okay. You ready? Set. We were hovering. We were. Okay. So I put you into a little bit of motion, right? But right. I want you to be able to move yourself okay. because I don't want to drag you all over the studio. So we have attached two carbon dioxide tanks onto your hovercraft. All right. Okay. And that is what you are going to use to move yourself around. All right. Okay. So I'm going to turn on our hovercraft again and then I'll let you kind of test them out a little bit just to get used to them. So this one is actually going to turn you to the right. That one will turn you to the left. And if okay. you fire them both at the same time, you're going to go forward. Okay. okay, so just give it like a couple of quick bursts of the CO2 gas, sure. and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about our third motion, or third law of motion, because that one's my favorite. Okay. Okay, you ready? Sounds good. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and fire it off a little bit. I'm gonna bring you back this way. Okay, I'm gonna turn off your hovercraft again. Okay. All right. So now you kind of have a feel for how you're gonna move around, okay? Right. But what's really important here is momentum. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna throw you this basketball. All right, so when you throw that back at me, you're actually exerting a force on the basketball to me, but you're also having the basketball exert a force back on you. Right. And that's our third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. All right, but when you throw this to me, ready? You're not exerting enough of a force to move yourself. Now, if you threw a garbage bag of bowling balls at me, you'd probably knock me over. But I would you would <laughs> never do that. But if I did, right? You would put enough force on yourself to move yourself backward. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do instead of like one big heavy mass that we're going to use to propel you, we're going to use our CO2 tanks, which have millions of small particles moving at really high velocity. All right. Okay. So those small particles moving super super fast are going to shoot out and that's what's going to allow you to move. Okay. Okay, so do you want to do some more driving? I do. All right, let's get this out of here because we don't need it. All right, I'll fire up your hovercraft okay. again. If I give you the right hand, right, left, and okay. both. Okay, and I'm just going to let you cruise around out here. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, so see if you can turn to the right. We'll bring you back. Ah, okay. Use your left. Use your left. And then, yep, come forward. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, I think we might actually be off camera now. That's what happens when I don't behave. <laughs> so you can jump off the hovercraft and come back. Sorry, I let you get a little crazy. It's New Year's Eve and whew, we just messed all kinds of stuff up. But there was it go. fun? That was awesome. That's what we are all about. We'll take it outside next, right? <laughs> yes.
supervised, I promise you. All right, you guys are going to be talking about frost allergy coming up here too, correct? Yep, so we're actually open today. We will be closed tomorrow, but we reopen again on Friday, and this is the last weekend to check out frostology. So <laughs> make sure you come by and see it. You might see our hovercraft out and about, I don't know. But if not, we have other super cool activities going on All right, on too. Sarah, appreciate that one. Again, we can check you out just down the road. Imagination Station is where you guys can be found. Yep. Happy New Year to Thank you guys. Thank you. Happy New Year. All right, after the break, we're going to check with Trevor Alt with what is hot on the web. Stay with us.